what we're going to see is truly transformational. When you look at the speeds for 4G LTE, it's going to be 10 times faster than what people see today on current 3G networks. 5 to 12 megabits per second on the downlink and 2 to 5 megabits per second on the uplink. The upload speeds are so high, so fast, that now you can start thinking about things like taking high definition videos and then streaming those to somebody's mobile tablet halfway across the country because now you can. And it will have low latency. So our latency on this network is cut in half. Latency really gets into the responsiveness of your device. Real-time applications like cloud-based services, video, latency is critical to try and get the right responsiveness. But I think more broadly, it's going to be a global ecosystem that everyone is going to tap into for connectivity for not only phones and laptops and netbooks, but also for consumer electronics devices, appliances, telematics, etc. For business customers, the magic of LTE is being able to do all the things that you would be able to do in the office. They'll be able to teleconference. They'll also be able to video collaborate, but now completely on the road. You can take your notebook connected to the corporate IT network and stream database applications, stream corporate training videos done in high definition. It really enables a new freedom. We've been able to do things mobile before, but there's been certain things where we've had to make compromises. That changes with 4G. We've launched in a big way. 38 markets across the United States, plus 60 airports. And within those 38 markets, it's a large build out, approximately 70% or more of a market on day one. I was very impressed that right out of the gate, they're cover, you know, Verizon is covering 110 million uh, customers. And by the end of 2013, we will have coverage the same as our 3G coverage today. For the 4G LTE network that we're going to be deploying in the U.S., we're taking advantage of a unique band, 700 megahertz. Our competitors won't have that same contiguous coverage. We like to say reliability is in our DNA and we're bringing all of that commitment to the 4G network. As you look out into the future, we see a world of things like connected cars and connected broadcast cameras and a world that changes that will ride on our network. It's embedded applications in your car, embedded applications in your home, embedded applications for security. It's all about simplifying our digital lives. Bigger games require more bandwidth, um, bigger, more expansive multiplayer games require low latency, so it's really kind of a match made in heaven as far as we're concerned. I think when you take a look at healthcare, that's also critical. With 4G and with long-term evolution, I can see the future of what I want to do, but most importantly, what my patients want me to do. The virtual clinic, seeing them at home, communicating with them, creating a seamless, integrated healthcare environment. Also, smart grid technology is going to be taking advantage of 4G LTE because they're looking for technologies that are going to be around for a significant period of time. We're building devices today that people have talked about previously but have not been able to realize because the right wide area network wireless technology simply wasn't available. We're now making it available through 4G LTE. And we're going to hear a lot of noise from our competitors. People are going to say, we've got 4G this or we've got 4G like speeds that. And the reality is our network is going to do the talking.